Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers Combiner Wars video review. This time of Transform this time of Transformers Combiner Wars Bruticus. Now we're going to have Brawl and Swindle as the legs as is traditional. So let's start with Brawl. Fold back the rear end of the tank. Fold up the turret. Alright. Flip out the combiner port. Peg on hand foot gun. It's simple. It's pretty much the same thing, but with the front of Swindle's Jeep mode. And the back has the combiner port. Um, Shockwave, you basically just leave in gun mode. For Onslaught, it's mostly the same conversion as Hotspot, again, at least from the waist down. Pull away his head. Uh, take off his guns for now. Swivel around his backpack. Sole the shoulders back 90 degrees. Ah, if you can flip these little wings forward if necessary. Fold out this piece of the backpack, which you can't see, sorry. Fold away his heels. Basically transform his legs the same way Hotspot did. Except, unlike my Hotspot, this one doesn't have the fucked up combiner port in the leg. Fold down the head, lock it into the torso, and fold the backpack back. Fold up his arms and peg them at the top. Fold back those little panels that were covering his shoulders. And sorry, you can't really see any of this. It's hard to keep everything on camera. And leave it like this for now. Attach to Swindle and Brawl. Set it to the back. Uh, these two are essentially the same. Oh, and um, peg these two guns onto his back. Like traditional Bruticus. In the traditional Bruticus fashion. Basically in the same spot they were in vehicle and robot mode. There you go. These two are basically the normal aerial bot conversion to arm mode, so I'm not going to bother explaining it. Although for Vortex, I do have a slight thing I do instead of the normal way. Instead of leaving his arms down like this, I fold them up cover the tail fins with them so that he has more elbow articulation. Hand on, both fingers, both hand, plug his machine gun into his arm on the back, slide it in forwards, which is unique for, combine, for the Combiner Wars, fold down the chest piece panel to, ah, come on, lock it in place. Don't fuck up the shoulder assembly, if you can manage to not do that. Same thing for Blast Off, essentially, except I've already got his gun pegged onto his wing. Put the arms back. I don't remember if I had this guy as an arm in my um, Superion video. Um, I mean, Firefly, but you get the idea. And slide them on, clip them in, lean him back a bit, or just pose him a little bit so that he can stand up. He's got the same funky hips as Defensor. And he appears to stand like that, so we will go with that. And put Shockwave in to the Vortex hand. Again, do what you can to get him standing straight. And there you have 
Transformers Combiner Wars Bruticus in Combined Mode. He has the standard Combiner Wars Combiner Articulation. And for a comparison, R.I.D. Ruination. As you can see, he's a bit taller. Completely different colors, of course, but that's not what we're comparing here. We're comparing the molds. This one has much less extra junk parts. And the uh, base mode for Onslaught. Overall, I really wish they had repainted this into this. I wanted to get this as this. Y you get the idea. I wanted the Combiner Wars Ruination. But whatever, besides the point. Would I recommend this set? If you're already doing Combiner Wars, you might as well get it. It's a really, re it's still a good set. It has some of the best molds from the line in it. I personally really like Brawl and Swindle, as well as Shockwave here. And the arms are good molds too. Again, Onslaught has the weird hips, but otherwise it's a very good torso. I'd say this set is mildly recommended when it comes to Combiner Wars. So, please like, comment, subscribe. It's been me, and I'll see you all next time.